So by now, a lot of you guys are probably getting to around the 540 to 580 gear score range, and you realize that you're really hard capped on Harmony shards. Now, I'm running into this problem as well. And recently, Saintone actually posted a Reddit thread where he talked about all of the different ways that we might not know about how to get these extra harmony shards that we may be missing. So I wanted to make a video about this and also add a couple of areas where I think that some of you might not know how to get harmony shards from. So I'm going to link the Reddit thread in the description below as well as his Twitch stream and he's probably streaming right now as we speak. So let's get started. So the first tip is going to be clearing the hard dungeons from Rowendell and beyond. So when you reach Rowendell, you have two dungeons that you're going to be clearing. The first dungeon is called Realm of Elementals, and the second one is going to be called Phantom Palace. Now during the story, you clear through the normal mode, or most likely you will have cleared through the normal mode of these dungeons, and you'll have collected the rewards from that. Now hard mode, you probably did not clear. And if you go back and do hard mode again, you will actually get a sum of harmony shards from clearing those dungeons. So make sure if you're capped on harmony shards from Rowendell and beyond, go ahead and do those dungeons again on the mode that you didn't clear it on. The second tip that is probably a bit more well known is going to be the merchant ship and the Silmile Bloodstone shop. So the merchant ship itself is located outside of every major continent. And when you go there, you can trade in private coins for upgrade materials, which includes the Harmony Shards. And for the Silmile Bloodstone Shop, those are located in major towns as well, and you will need to be in a guild to access those shops, or at least buy from those shops. And you get Silmile Bloodstones from your guild, and you use those to purchase the Harmony Shards. The third tip is going to be going up the Shade Spire Tower. So in every major town, you can access the Shade Spire Tower, which is basically like a tower where you have to complete challenges. And I talked a bit about this in my other video, but I'm gonna talk about it here again, just because this is talking about Harmony Shards. So the first time you clear it, you get a bunch of goodies that are roster bound. That means you can transfer those between characters. Now, every time subsequent to that, you will be getting upgrade materials, which includes Harmony Shards. Now that is why I've advised people to clear the Shade Spire Tower first on your alt, and then use your main to clear it again. Because the first time on your alt, you get a bunch of roster bound stuff that you can transfer, and on your main where you wanna be progressing as quickly as possible, you get those valuable upgrade materials, which includes the Harmony Shards. Now, Saint Tone said that in his experience this time around, he only went up to floor 24 with his alt because upgrading his gear on his alt any further would be a detriment. So he cleared up to 24 on his alt, then cleared the rest of the floors on his main. So I guess I'd advise you to do that as well. And by going to floor 24, you can then complete your Shadow Island quest and get more Harmony Shards for completing that quest. Now the last tip that the Reddit thread goes over is the infinite chaos dungeons. So you all know that you have a daily limit of two chaos dungeons to get material rewards. Now any subsequent reward beyond those two, you'll get special materials that you can trade into the shop, the chaos dungeon shop, that will also have the harmony shards for sale. Now they're limited per week. So unfortunately there is a limit to how many harmony shards you can get from this but it is another extra sum of Harmony Shards that you can get that's outside of just doing islands. So those are the ways that the Reddit thread talked about how to get these extra Harmony Shards. Now for me, I wanted to add a couple more areas where you can get extra Harmony Shards that a lot of people may know, but I just wanted to raise awareness to in case there are those that don't because there's a lot of systems in Lost Ark that can get really confusing. Now the first one that I wanted to bring up is going to be the Abyss Dungeons. Abyss Dungeons are weekly dungeons that you can do with a party of four that will net you a good amount of upgrade materials but also some accessories as well. This is something that is beyond the daily Guardian Raid and a Chaos Dungeon that you can do to get yourself a little bit more upgrade materials. It's not a ton, 
but it'll help out a little bit and it'll also let you craft your abyss dungeon sets which are better armor pieces than what you get from the chaos dungeons you can access these abyss dungeons from every major town now the other piece that i wanted to go over that is a little bit more obscure is going to be una's daily tasks so here you have your dailies and weeklies for una's tasks you can go and look for harmony shards and you can see which ones will yield the most harmony shards for you and you could do that daily same with weeklies if you look for harmony shards here you can see which ones will yield you the most harmony shards and you can go ahead and do that so from here it looks like my chaos dungeon one is the weekly that i do want to do and the sailing one that i have to do a co-op one so hopefully this video helped you find some extra ways to earn harmony shards I know that reading that thread really helped me find a couple more bits and pieces here and there to help me get to tier two. So hopefully it helped you guys too. As always, remember to hit that sub button, ring the bell for notifications, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below as well if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me and brings me a lot of joy to see you guys getting use out of my videos. So let me know. Give me a holler. Give me a shout out down there. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.